Hello Divination, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a floating action menu to your Divi website. To achieve this we're going to use Divi's code module and the code pen code generator. So this is the final design that we're aiming for in this tutorial. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to achieve this. Okay, so before we get started, all the links that you need to achieve this design is going to be provided in the show notes below. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is to go to codepen.io and create an account. By the way, you need to go for the free account. You don't need to uh, pay anything for this. So you can see here in the top right, I've created my account. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to click this link, which is in the show notes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to change all this information that belongs to Andy and replace it with our information. So to know that this information belongs to Andy, if you take a look at the top here in the navigation bar, you can see that Andy Tran is the username. So the idea here is to replace all this information with our information and then save it. Okay, so let's start off here right at the top with uh, the name. So I've changed here the title to Mac and then here the um, view profile link is going to andytran.me so we're going to change that and I'm going to add my website address so I'm going to go ahead and do the same here in fact to make it easy for me I'm just going to copy and paste it so once you've uh, replaced all this information there's one final important step that you need to do and this is your image URL so you can see here this image belongs to Andy so to get our URL what I normally do is I just go to my website and I go to the media library so I'm just going to click on dashboard and then we're going to go into the media so now if you haven't done this ahead of time you might as well go ahead and upload your profile picture so I'm just going to click once on this image and then I'm going to copy the URL and then I'm just going to close this go back to the dashboard and then back here we're going to add the source of the image to the URL I just copied. So I'm just going to paste that in here. So now my image is going to be showing on this. So pretty cool. So I think we've covered everything that we need to do here. Okay, so now that we have uh, edited all the information that we needed and we're happy with it, the next thing to do is to save it. So if you're on a PC, just press Control S. If you're on a Mac, it's Command S. So now if you take a look at the top here, we can see that all that information that we changed now belongs to me. Okay, so our information has been saved and uh, we can tell that this information now belongs to me because right here at the top, we can see that the username is now Mac17. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So what we need to do now is to copy this URL right here at the top. So I'm just gonna press Command C on uh, Mac and then if you're on a PC, it's Control C. Now we need to go to the uh, code generator. So what we need to do here is to paste the URL and then click generate. Okay, so this is the generated code that we're gonna need to paste on our website. So I'm just gonna press on the copy code button. And then now let's go into our website and I'm just gonna go to uh, my main page. So I'm gonna click on pages, all pages, edit. So what we need to do here is to add the code module. So I'm gonna click once on that and paste the code right in here. Click on save and exit and then we're going to click update. Okay, so now that uh, the page has been updated, let's do a quick preview and see if that has worked. Okay, so we can see right here at the bottom right, we have this button. So if we click it, it has all the information. So we've got settings, help decks and low, uh, logout. So that shows that it's working. So if you click the button again, it disappears. Now this only shows on this page because we've applied the code onto this page. So if you want to do this site-wide, what you need to do is to come here to Divi, theme options, integration, and then you need to add the code on the head tag. So I'm just going to paste it here and then click on save changes. So now this is going to be applied site-wide. So if we go to a different page, like for example, the contact, we can see now it's also there. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.